All right, so I guess the Make Magazine is not the best guide to follow. It's not. So in two, it's not detailed enough in all reality for what we need. So what happened is I was reading over what I needed to do next, and what it didn't tell us is that we needed, you know, a good couple inches on this top bar here. So I had to come in and and move all the bearings down and reposition everything and get everything all reset so that I had enough room up here because now we're going to take our our bearings or our pulleys and put up top. So I'm now following the the MakerBot guide online and it's it has everything in a different order than what I've been doing everything in. So hopefully uh, I don't get too messed up here, but it should be okay. So anyway, I've got all these put back on. I wanted to leave this one off. The, the little cap here so that I can show you guys. If anybody even watches, why would you watch my videos? You can follow the much better guide online, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on. All right, so we've got that done, and now we're going to go ahead and get the rest of our pulleys here. So we have, to be honest, they have a bunch here, so I hope I don't get these wrong, but it looks to be the pulleys that have the little gold centerpiece. These are going to go on top here. All right, so we're gonna hook the motor up on the top. I'm gonna make sure the wires come off to the right right side of the box, and we're gonna make sure that we use the 10 millimeter screws and not the 16 millimeter screws. So they're in a little smaller bag. They look, look like little smaller of the same type screws. So let's go ahead and mount this real quick. Alright, so now we're going to do, I guess, these two pulleys right here. We should have two of them. Alright, so what you do is you're going to take your your pulley there, and you're going to take your big M8 bolt that, like I said, came in this bag, and you're going to go ahead and put those on, and you're going to screw a, a, a bolt on as far as it'll go, and it'll get plenty tight there at the very end, and make sure it's tight. We're going to go ahead and stick it through the slot right there. And we go ahead and screw another bolt on to the bottom. And so when that's tight, this will still move, move freely like that. And so we're going to do that on both sides here. Alright, so the next pulley we're going to do is, is the one that goes on the motor here. Um, it says, I'm reading ahead, and it says that we need to make sure all these are level. So I'm going to go ahead and try 
my best to do that. I'm going to make this one because I don't have much play anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and put my finger, I don't know if you can see it, right on the top here. And I'm going to make that as level or as flush as possible. Alright, after you get those on, you'll want to screw them on. There's some little screws in the top of the, 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 the pulleys. Man, it is late. I'm tired. Alright, I'm going to quit. There's some, pulley, there's some screws in the top of the pulley. You screw those in. You try and get these as level as possible. These obviously have some play in them, so they'll be able to move up and down. Um, I was really just concerned about these four and this one right here, this one almost looks like it could just go up a tab. So, maybe like that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and install the belt here on the top for the assembly here. It's going to be the long belt. And you're going to take your grooves. And they're going to grab along these back pulleys. These pulleys. Go like the And these and make this a little bit easier but it should be good just like that and then you're going to tighten them up all right and then you're just going to want to make sure everything's level and looks nice and it should rotate pretty well yep. and sure enough it, I don't know if you can see that but I can peek yeah sweet all right and so then we'll move on to the next step